today we discuss a new mathematical problem there is a collision between two cars p and q after running the distance as a result they combined car moves together with a velocity 2 meter per second towards q now we will find two problem that is at that time at what time will the car p and q meet together and another problem is the incident supports the law of conservation of momentum but not kinetic energy explain now solution a now first we find what we will get from this figure let the total time is t from here we get velocity of car P is P1 equals to 12 meter per second. Again, velocity of car Q is P2 equals to 10 meter per second. Total distance is S equals to 1.10 kilometer. That is, we convert it meter and get 1.10 into 10 to the power 3 meter. Okay, here we know that. For total distance, distance of P is S1 and distance of Q is S2 equals to S. Again, we know Formula of distance is S equals to Vt. We use it here. That is S equals V1t plus S2 equals V2t equals to total S. Here we can take common T as then we get V1 V2 equals to total distance is 1.10 into 10 to the power 3 meter now we put the value of v1 and v2 that is 12 meter per second plus 10 meter per second equals to 1.10 into 10 to the power cube meter that is we get t into 22 meter per second equals to 1.10 into 10 to the power 3 meter and t equals to putting this value opposite side we can write it 1.10 into 10 to the power 3 meter divided by 22 meter per second after calculating this 
we get t equals to 50 second so in we say that in 50 second the two car will meet now we will discuss about our second myth the incidence support the law of conservation of momentum but not kinetic energy okay now we will solve this math number b again we see here what we will get from the figure here mass of car P is M1 equals to 600 kg if I see here and mass of car Q is M2 equals to 500 kg Velocity of car P is V1 equals to 12 meter per second and velocity of car Q is V2 equals to minus 10 meter per second. Here we put here minus because the direction of P and direction of Q is opposite direction. That's why if we put P velocity is positive, then we put Q velocity is negative. And combined velocity of car is v equals 2 meter per second now for momentum before collision We write here P1 plus P2. Here P is the momentum. So we write, we know that formula P for momentum we know that P equals to M into V. So we write here m1 v1 plus m1 m2 v2 now i put value here 600 m1 v1 is 12 and m2 is 500 and v2 is minus 10 so after multiplying this is 7200 and this is 5000 then finally we get 22000 kilogram meter per second that is the a total momentum of before collision now we find after collision
same again again same formula p1 plus p2 equals to m1 v plus m2 v here we put value of m1 is 600 and combined velocity of car is here 2 meter per second so we put value of v is 2 and value of m2 is 500 and v is almost here 2 after calculating this we get 1200 and 1000 so the total value is 2200 kg meter per second so we see that here the value of momentum before collision is 2200 and after collision is 2200 so we can see it here the it follow the <coughs> conversion of momentum now we see what about kinetic condition for kinetic energy before collision <coughs> we can write it half mv1 square plus half m2 v2 square because we know that kinetic energy is e k equals to half m v square so we write here for car p and we write here for car q so we put here value half into 600 into velocity is 12 square plus half into m2 is 500 into velocity is minus 10 square after calculating this we get that is 300 into 144 plus 250 into 100 after calculation we get 68,200 joule now what is the condition of after collision again we write the formula of kinetic energy of m1 v1 square plus of m2 v2 square we put value here half into 600 into here velocity is v2 square and half into 500 into 2 square that is half into 600 into 4 plus half into 500 into 4 after calculation we write here that is 1200 and that is 1000 which is the total final value is 2200 joule so we see here the kinetic energy before collision and kinetic energy after collision is not same so kinetic energy cannot conserve the conversation law okay thank you all